Hello, in my MDemon uh, mail server series, uh, we cover a lot of installation and configuration up to now, creating accounts, uh, clients, DNS settings, security. Uh, today, I just will show you briefly a few refreshments. That account, you can create a new account or edit existing accounts. Uh, just select the account, whatever you want, click OK. In the box, you can change the, the password here. How you said this is only from the beginning of this email server. So this is John at whatever is the domain here. Uh, you can activate and deactivate some of the features. For example, you don't want him to use pop uh, clients. You want him to use only IMAP. You also on the web service, do you want uh, to use uh, web services? The web services are actually when you want to access through uh, user you know, through the browser. So for example, our John Our John uh, has access to the work client and this is uh, what we see here, enable webmail and also you have a few options here. So if I, uh, if I go back to, to the browser, he has access to, to the features. Depends of, uh, of what is checked, what is not, he will be able to control through this uh, web uh, uh, client portal. For example, do you allow him to forward uh, redirecting mails, to changing uh, his code, uh, to edit the mailbox? Uh, usually by default is uh, pretty uh, secure, so you don't have to do anything particular uh, for him. Uh, he can change his password, he can activate forwarding address if you don't want, doesn't allow him. Particular stuff is this alias. So, what I'm trying to explain now is that alias, this is if you have additional email. Doesn't need your server to support this email address. For example, you can activate a domain which is uh, blah dot com. And if this blah blah dot com transfer the mails here, he will be able to receive it. You just send it, you know, our John at mymail.learnhowtodo.com. It's actually also John at blah blah dot com if you have uh, control in this domain name and saying you can forward actually blah blah dot com to go to learn how to do dot com also you can select that our job have also account like uh, user support in uh, in this server it's uh, my mail dot learn how to do dot com so you actually can give few email addresses to this job but uh, he receive doesn't matter which so if uh, if he write into if he writes uh, his email is uh, John right okay so if he writes to we create uh, John we create it but we didn't uh, save it we have to click apply okay so how we recognize what kind of uh, emails it's uh, supported if if you click new email you see this job back down he's supporting uh, john at uh, my mail learn how to do it. Oh. We gave him email account with alias 
user underscore support, right? So now if our John log out from his web portal, so he'll be able to see the, the new settings. So after he click uh, login, you see he'll have options to use his email John and also user support and my mail learn how to do. So this is the same he'll be able to receive on each email, doesn't matter which email the people using John or user support, it will arrive in his uh, Inbox, for example, here test of John test. So he's sending from his email user at support to his John at my mail dot learn how to do dot com. And if he sent, after a few seconds, this email will arrive. Here it is. It arrives from user support, Oops. from user support to job. So this is what I want to show you, how the alias uh, works. Uh, you can give him uh, any single domain which you control and sending to our mdaemon server. You don't need to create uh, domains. You don't have to activate a different domain here. You just have only one domain, but if the other uh, DNS records sending all mail to our mdaemon, you just using one account for the person and activating alias to this uh, to this person. So this guy can have uh, ten different domain, ten different email addresses here. Not only with our uh, my email learn how to do blah blah uh, uh, gogo.com if un, until you have a DNS records that they have to come to this same daemon server, this is everything what you have to do. Just create one email with uh, your domain and after them creating alias. This one preventing, preventing your um, payment, you paying per user account. The license of, uh, of this same daemon server go per user account. So if you create, if I create only one John with uh, the domain name, so I have only one domain name and only one email account, I actually, in the DNS, I can create that uh, different domain names sending to this server. And you're just putting alias for each email with, which you like to receive this particular user so in this way you saving from license to pay for this end demon uh, i hope that uh, for some people can be useful